Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of GTA 4. Today we're going to do Dim Dimitri's missions, and Dimitri's going to tell us something about Faustin. The Master and the Molotov. A very iconic mission. And every single time you do this mission, I believe the sky becomes overcast, and I think that every time you do this mission, it's also rainy. So it becomes a thunderstorm. Dimitri. Hey. Sit down. What's the problem? What do you think? Mikael, Mr. Fauston. Uh-huh. You're given a choice. Kill your best friend or die. What do you do? And there is no way out? Not now. Not after you killed Petrovic's son. You don't have any family. You could run. Wherever you go, people will find you if they want to badly enough. And for this, they want blood. But you and Mikhail, you have so much history. Sure. Sure. The way he says it there. Well, I killed the boy, so they want me too. No. I told them you were a hired gun. And they said, as long as you were the one to kill him, you'd be spared. <laughs> so that's the way it is. Yes, that's the way it is. <sighs> He'll be leaving his house in a little while and heading for the club. Do what you have to do. You know, if there's one thing I've learned, it's that we must obey the rules of the game. We can pick the game, Nico Bellic, but we cannot change the rules. See you later. So basically, um, what's going on here is that, um, Faustin, remember in the mission Final Destination, in which he had Nico, um, he, Faustin had Nico kill, um, Lenny Pet Petrovic. That was the son of Kenny Petrovic, which is a very powerful Russian mob boss. And so, um, Petrovic wants blood, and Dimitri told him that Nico would be spared if he, um, uh, if he was the one to kill, Fa uh, Faustin. And also, Dimitri's claiming that he has to, um, he has to do it also, or he'll be killed. But they have no choice. They gotta get rid of Faustin now. This is definitely one of the most iconic GTA missions. I believe it's gonna start raining soon. And I think the rain has a lot of symbolism in this mission, and I'll talk about that in a future lore video. Yep, it started raining. There's Faustin. Faustin is inside Perestroika. Nico, there can be no mistakes with this. Mikhail is a dangerous man. I have left some protection for you around the side of the club. Your friend, Dimitri. Okay. And if you go around here, you can actually find a body armor. Nico! Nico Bellic! You and Dimitri are taking over, no? This is not about taking over! You brought this on yourself! You pushed things too far! You would be dead if it wasn't for me. That's true. That is what Dimitri wanted when you killed Vlad. Dimitri... My brother. You see this? This statue says we are brothers for life. And now he betrays me. You didn't give him a choice. <laughs> you should have been calm. 
No one, not Dimitri, not anyone tells me to come. You think Dimitri would have survived prison without me? He'd just be some prison queen. Had I not been there, meet for some gin monkey. I am not dead yet. Some are still loyal to me. Guards! You fight like a worm, like spiny worm. You are nothing back. He's not a way to fight. You are a strong survivor, and the weak die. You will see. I got where I am for reason. I will have some Balkan shit. Take this away from me. I made you what you are, Nico. I showed mercy to you and to your cousin when Dimitri wanted you dead. The time for mercy is over. I must rule with fist of iron. You're mine. Have a good day. People, help me. It's closing time. Get your coat. <laughs> closing time. You want to die? The funny, the thing is, I wanted to wait to like kill um uh Faustin's guards because um Faustin says a few things before um you finally confront him. Faustin's running away. Okay, Ali. Ooh, this execution is just brutal. Oh. And that's the thing, this... This mission, um... There will always be, um... Uh, there will always be a thunderstorm on this mission, I'm pretty sure. And it, I believe it has symbolism to it. I'll talk about that still in that lore video that I mentioned. Faustin is dead. You did a good thing. A hard thing. But a good thing. Hopefully this will mean peace with Petrovic. So, now Dimitri says this is probably gonna mean peace with Petrovic. So now uh, we just gotta wait um, for Dimitri to contact us or we could contact him. You can phone Dimitri to see if he has spoken to Petrovic, or you can wait for Dimitri to contact you. Let's call Dimitri. What's going on? Dimitri, you got my money? I have it. Meet me at the warehouse of Maganet in downtown Broker. Come along. Now, um, uh, we'll be getting um phone call right here, little Jacob. Alright, my brother. We have a Russian and seriously vexed with you. I only pissed off one. He's dead. I'm going to meet Dimitri to collect on the hit. Yo, Nico, you better watch your back, you know. We know you're wicked, but them boy, them are some dog ass. I'm not afraid of him. Yeah, my eyes can't see. The heart can't leave, but you know. May I come with you? Where's the place? A warehouse on Mohane. I know the one. You see around the back. So little Jacob found out that Nico was um, uh, working for Dimitri, and he told, and he told um, Nico to watch out, and he said, I'll meet you there. Remember what Dimitri said, he said, come alone. And this is why I consider little Jacob one of the best GTA characters of all time, because he's such a good friend to Nico, and he's loyal to him.
Hey, Nico. Glad you could make it. Yes. You got the money? Sure. But I just wanted to say how grateful me and my bosses are for what you did. Good. Yes. And I just wanted to check something with you. Okay. You are Nico Bellic. Look at his smile now. What is this? And you used to work the coast in the Mediterranean, smuggling people into Italy. I don't know what you're talking about. But you messed up and left a lot of bad debt. This shows you Dimitri's real personality. Out of pocket. Big time. Hello, Nico. Hello, Mr. Bulgarin. Ross, where is our money? I don't know. I didn't rob you. Really? We were busted a mile off the coast. I had to swim for my life. I don't know what happened. I nearly drowned. Huh. My heart was bleeding. I did my best. I didn't fuck up. Oh, there you are. Oh. Ah! Ah! So that man right there, that's Mr. Bulgarin. Nico worked for him when he worked in Europe, and he worked on his tanker ship. The ship sunk um, uh, in the coast in the Adriatic, and Nico actually had to swim for his life. Bulgarin blamed him for the ship going down. And now Dimitri is working with him. And remember what Faustin told Demi uh, Nico? He said, Dimitri will turn on you as well. You shall discover this. I will have a whole video talking about Dimitri once I beat the game. Damn, okay, these guys are in some good cover. Um, I think I'm just gonna move up on them. This is what I like about the combat in GTA 4, that you can actually see how much health the enemies have left. I really like that detail. Okay, how many of them are left? Four. Of course, Dimitri and Bulgarin are running like the cowards they are. Okay, now we got a better gun here. Okay, now we gotta get out of here. So the the thing about this is that um, M. Everything crashed back there. Ballin all over the place. Lose them. I'm trying to fucking lose them. No, who fucked up the game back there? What went wrong? I don't fucking know, and I can't think about it now. I need to shake these fucking pigs. Ballin just a whole man down. You're right, just standing on Nico. The thing is, though, is that when most people played this mission, um, they didn't ex really expect this, they didn't see this coming. When Dimitri says, come alone, um, and meet at this warehouse, it's kind of suspicious at that point, but before then, like, nobody really expected Dimitri to betray you, it just, it came out of nowhere. There wasn't really much signs of it, like, with Big Smoke in GTA, there was actually a lot of signs that Big Smoke was gonna betray CJ, but with Dimitri, there was no clear signs. Yo, you lose Babylon, man. Power back at the cafe now. Yeah, I need to block up some more. I told you Dimitri was a snake in the grass. I didn't know that Mr. Bulgarin was here in Liberty City. If I could have killed them all then and there. Just chill, Nico, man. One at a time. One, one cocker filled basket. See? We find out where Dimitri is, then BAM! We take the rest of them out. 
Let's keep your head down until then. Fucking Dimitri. Made me kill Faust and then he sell me down the river. Just go, Nico. The boy is a general, you know what I see? He's gonna make his own downfall. That had a monkey climb, the more him expose him bad to you see it? I will bring Dimitri down myself. I promise you this. I'm gonna speak to Batman. You keep on alone. Call your woman and get out of this place. Hey, thanks for your help, Jacob. One love, my brother. This is why Jacob, like I said, he's one of the best uh, characters of all time, because he went, came there to help out Nico. He didn't expect anything in return. He just wanted to help out his friend, and he was worried about him. You can call Roman to inform him of the situation. Let's call Roman, then. Nico, please come and meet me in the alleyway off of Hopper Street in EIC. Quickly, come. Roman, what are you doing? Why are you whispering? Well, I'll be there soon. Where's Roman? Roman, where are you? In here! I'm stuck! Let me out! Shit, man! <sighs> what are you doing in there? I got scared. People started calling the house and hanging up. You weren't answering your phone, what happened? We've got a big problem. Dimitri was not a man of his word. So we're dead! More or less. Everything was fine yes. before you. Yes. Fine, and now this! Thank you! Thanks a lot! It's Vanny! Nevidna. What's done is done. Yes. But there's a bigger problem. What? That guy I owed money to, Bulgarin. Yes, the guy in <sighs> Europe who lives by the Adriatic. Yeah, yeah, he's here now. <sighs> Great. I'm sorry. I've ruined your life. No, don't be like that. We, we can find a way out of this. A bunch of idiot Russians. I will kill. Every one of them. No, that's exactly what you won't do. We don't have time for revenge. We can't afford it. What can we afford? Uh, we can lay low and start over. The better solution would have probably been to kill all, all of them. Let's go back to the apartment. We can pick up our stuff and then get out of here. I'll call Mallory. She might have somewhere we can hide out. And now... The big question is, why does Dimitri betray Nico? You know, there's a lot of theories on it. People say, oh, because Bulgarin showed up and he just sold Nico out. Another theory is that he went crazy after Faustin died. I don't think any of those are correct. Hey, beautiful. Um, listen, me and Nico are in a bit of trouble. Um, need to get out of broker a few days. Any of your cousins have a place we could use out in Bohem? Oh, you're an angel. Beautiful and kind. I love you. We'll see you there. <sighs> Maybe things are not so bad. This I did not expect. I was thinking about getting out of the cab business. Last night I had a dream. Really? Yes. You and I had a place of our own. A place where people come to eat and relax. Classy place. None of this fast food diner bullshit. We own a real restaurant. Tavern is a place of distinction, you know? I can't see myself settling down. Not now, but in the dream, you've met the right woman. She's beautiful, pure like my Mallory. In the dream, Mallory and me are married, and everything is perfect. This could be the start of that. A fresh... What is going on? Look at the apartment. Fuck, it's fucking burning! The whole place! I've got to go in! I've got to get something! Leave it, cousin. This place is gone. They burnt it! They fucking burnt it, Nico! Russian Mafia did that, burnt the entire building down. Do you know how long it took me to get the place of my own? You got off the boat and I was here for you! I know you were. I got here and I had nothing! Nobody! I worked my way up from the fucking dirt! So yeah, this is um uh, this is where the story in GTA 4 starts to get really good with this um this type of stuff, and the story in this game Jesus, is really dark. It's on fire. Fuck! Look at this, Roman's cab depot. I've got nothing left, not my home, not my business, nothing. They took it all. I'm sorry, Roman. I'm really sorry, but we have to go. We'll meet Mallory and Bohan. Oh, 
You still have her. And you, for all the good you've done me. Go to Bohan. Okay, let's go there. That's the Do Bronx. You know how long it took me to get set up here? You don't, because it was easy for you. You had it all from day one. It took me months to get some cash together. Finally, I bought a cab, and then another. Then I got the depot. I slept under my desk at that place for over a year. Then I got the apartment. The apartment you thought was so shitty. Well, it doesn't matter. And now it's gone, along with everything else. I said I was sorry. You have a lot to apologize for. Since you got here, I've had my computer smashed, I've been beaten up, I was kidnapped, and then shot in the stomach! My apartment got burned down and so did my business! Things have been going so great, just great since you showed up! You remember that time when we went to the bar back home and found it raised to the ground? Just a pile of rubble. Everything smashed, except for that one bottle of vodka. Yeah, we sat down and finished it off there and then. Wait, wait, I don't want to talk about back home. We're here in America now, and I should be thinking about my life here. My life, which is ruined. Just drive, shut up, drive. The thing is, half of that stuff that Roman mentioned was actually his fault. When he has computers smashed, it was his fault for borrowing money from the Albanian um, loan sharks. Oh, what do you mean? I haven't been crying since my allergies. <laughs> Nico's wearing this new cologne. <laughs> Yeah, trying to impress Michelle or something. You're coming to your cousins, are you there? Great. See you in a bit, beautiful. My dream? It was just that. A dream. I can't have the tavern now. I have nothing to buy it with. I, ha I have nothing. I told you. You still have Mallory. But I wanted to really have her. I wanted to marry her. You can still do that. I had bought her a ring. That is what I wanted to show you. It was a beautiful ring. It was... I was with you. <laughs> now I have nothing. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Roman, pull yourself together. You've been here before. Positive mental attitude. Come on. <clears throat> At least they want me dead and not you. <sighs> I do not think it will be much difference to them, Nico. Roman's One right there. We'll give them a little bit of happiness while they wait for next. I do not care, though. We are in this situation. We must deal with it. Bring on the Bohan. Okay. Here we are, the beginning of our new lives. Again. <sighs> Look at them just looking around the apartment. Not so bad. <laughs> I mean, I don't think we'll be impressing women with a wonderful hot tub, but uh, this looks okay. Yes, great. Come on, what's what's wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> what's wrong? Where should I start? All right, I'll start with you. What's wrong with you? Fifteen minutes ago, you were cowering in fear because you didn't know what was going to happen. Now, you know everything is shit, and we're going to be killed, and you're all cheerful. I don't get it. I guess I'm an optimist. An idiot, not an <laughs> optimist. I was bought a broker anyway. I'm glad you <laughs> turned up and made some Russian killers burn down my oh. home and business. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Nico. Thanks a bunch. Is that better? March. <sighs> Thank God you're okay. Mwah. Mwah. Both of you. We're fucked. We're broke and on the run. No, I'm from up here, Nico. I know a bunch of people who might be able to help out. Why don't you come and meet me at the community center later on? I gotta go to work. Bye, Poppy. And have a shower. You smell a little, um, mature. So, I guess we start again. Sure. I'm going out. And um, there's one thing to note when Roman says that um, uh, that doesn't matter that they they will come after me too. Um, Roman's right. Now, yeah, notice how the music actually plays. The music actually plays kind of sad instead of like happy when you complete the mission. And the thing about this is that um, uh, the Russian mafia and Italian mafia, despite you know both being you know 
mafias operate very differently um, in this term. Uh, let's see, Brucey. NB, I've been in touch with Roman. Get here soon, bro. We need the, th the three most dangerous blinging hardcore in the whole world, whole of Liberty City, to be rolling in the same room together. For real, B. That unlocks Brucey's other missions. Now, the thing is, though, is that y you guys saw my lore videos when I, like, talked about, like, the Italian Mafia and GTA. Now, the Italian Mafia, you know, they have some codes. I'm not defending them. Um, you know, they're, they're criminals, they're murderers. But generally, the Italian Mafia, if they have a problem with someone, they're not going to target that person's family. But the Russian Mafia, on the other hand, they have a problem with someone, they're going to target their entire family. They don't care. The Russian Mafia is much scarier in this regard. And so this, you know, this game shows just how scary the Russian Mafia is. Cha, I still vexed about that dog heart Dimitri. You got them rude driving skills to get and keep away from there. Keep your head down and keep in touch. Easy. Little Jacob. Oh, here we go. Dimitri. Nico Bellic. We did not find your body with the others in the warehouse. Mr. Bulgarin and I were very disappointed. I was loyal to you, Dimitri. Why did you turn on me? You think I could survive? in a cesspit of a city like this by aligning myself with a bottom feeder like you? You who has so many enemies! You robbed Bulgarin, you killed Mikhail, you know no more of loyalty than I do. You know why I killed Faustin? It was not my choice. I will find you, Nico. I have burnt you and your cousin out of Hove Beach. I will smoke you out of any other hiding place you have in this city. See you soon, Nico. Then this is why I really hate Dimitri. He's a great antagonist, but he's somebody that you really don't like. Um, and this is the thing, GTA 4's main antagonist, this is him, Dimitri. You just met him. He, um, uh, Dimitri is scary. He's scary and manipulative. And Devin Weston in GTA um, 5 was just annoying. Um, he wasn't, like, scary. He wasn't as ruthless as Dimitri. But I just really don't like um, Dimitri. Um, he's just backstabbing, um, ruthless, really cold-blooded character. But like I said, he's a great antagonist. I don't like him because of how bad of a guy he is. He's pure evil. We got a phone call from Brucey. Nicky, we gotta talk serious. All right, man. If you want my advice, the only way you're going to get your balls back to normal is if you stop juicing or you get implants. How many times? I have to tell you, homie, my balls are golden, okay? I want to talk to you about Roman. He's got a problem. He's gambling like an animal. Online, in clubs, it's everywhere. Like girl, you need bro. to control your cousin, bro. Roman's a grown-up. He can look after himself, Brucey. He's getting involved with some serious cats, homie. Even people I might think twice about dealing with. And I'm one dangerous motherfucker, okay? Put him in Gamblers Anonymous or something. I'm starting to think he's more interested in cards than chasing pussy. <laughs> and that ain't cool, you dig? Sure, Brucey. Thanks for the heads up. So Roman's gambling again to try to get money back for his cab depot, but I guess we'll end it off here. And like I was saying, guys, let me know down below, like, what, did you guys expect Dimitri to betray Nico? Like, what did you think? The first time you played this, did you expect that to happen? What did you think of it? And if this is your first time seeing it, let me know also what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.